Hello everyone and welcome back to Dead Cells. Shall we, first before I do anything else, let's try this. Please, Mouse, where are you? Let's try this uh, thing we were looking at in the last one, the prisoner's quarters. Uh, trying to find the key that we couldn't find in the first place. Um, which I seem to have completely lost any indication of. Uh, there was, uh, we have basically I think we have to go through that hole. Uh, in the back, what was it called? I'm just looking, uh, exclusive blueprints, no. Enemies, no. Law references go back a page. Yeah, access in the cabin. The cabin key. Which could be found in the click cabin key. Here we go. Pickups. Can we just jump to the thing? Cabin. Inside the break in the wall at the entrance to the level. Uh, is that this one? Uh, do we want a whip? Or do we want firebrands? We've got a plus shield. We can try firebrands and shield, I guess. Um, they they do have one crossover, which is the red. Let's try this thing. Ow! How do we do that? <laughs> How's this supposed to happen? Uh, what? I mean, I kind of assumed that you wouldn't just fail that much. How do you even do this? Because there's no indication of how to do it. Okay, prisoner's quarters. Cavern. It doesn't say anything about cavern key in the prisoner's quarters. Um. <laughs> Why? Dead cells cavern. It, it says you need to have beaten the. Uh, the king. Which I have. How do I get the cavern key? Prisoner's quarters. Vine room to touch. What? That's not what it says. <laughs> this says, this says, uh, cavern key in the prisoner's court inside the break in the wall at the entrance of the level. Opens the door to the cavern in the graveyard. This says, you have to go by the insufferable crypt. How to unlock the caverns? Cav, for God's sake. Cavern. I, I'm fed up with the internet these days, and I'll tell you why. Because it keeps loading stuff. You no, know, like just every single web page you ever go on is there's the information, and then it spreads itself out with every advert under the sun. And I know I should be using Adblock, but first of all, I haven't installed it, and secondly, it's worse on the phone, and you can't get Adblock on the phone, which is ridiculous. After you hand, you can spawn start the map. This time the giant will awaken and smash through the door past your first item selection. Follow the giant, get a short cutscene. What? Do I have to beat the hand of the king again? Just to follow- because the whole- <laughs> It says that it will- this the giant makes this hole, so we missed that because apparently you have to beat the hand of the king first. Lava pit. Gone into the lava, I guess we want to come back up. I'm looking at the ground Right, and then it just literally says, follow the giant and you'll get a shortcut scene, you'll be able to find a cavern key. Pass the hole in the prisoner's quarters after the cutscene. But I, I don't get a cutscene, so... I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Heck it then. Floor marks. Hmm. We really have claws this size. So this would be the giant. The giant goes through here, and then we can't have it because we're not good enough. Uh, and there's no cavern key. So... Pause. I'm determined to get this. How do I get the cap? Reddit will tell me. Give me the spoiler. That's a bloody video. Like, there's a whole bit <laughs> on on the internet. I think we might have to just beat the hand of the king again, which is turning out to be a lot more difficult than I anticipated. So let's just play the game. So hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me through this uh, small segue. That wasn't a segue, that was an interlude. That was a... What would you call that? Uh, what would you... Whoa! Wasn't fun. Let's, um, let's just use our, our... Our Healy thing. Uh, that was a... Uh, an aside. Uh, 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 irrelevancy, for sure. Whilst we looked into try, how to try and do... The 
giant key, which the giant cabin key, which is not a thing. Oh, what a day I have had. Let me tell you. Let me tell you about. First of all, first of all, hello and welcome. I want to uh, greet and be merry for all the people who join me. Some people, uh, as a result of Jen having a job, she has recruited many a person. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for joining me. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know in the comments if you uh, do, and just. Just leave, leave it alone if you don't, mate, because I, I, I couldn't. My ego can't take the hit, you know? Uh, and then, uh, welcome also to people from Grand Gaming. Brilliant shout out from Fordy. Thank you very much, my good dude, because he's uh, he's been a good friend for uh, not, not actually that long, but um, he, he joined me on the channel to play some Borderlands a while ago, and he's been in uh, my Discord, and I've been in his, which magically disappeared completely at random at some point. So if anybody could understand why it might be that a <laughs> Discord server would just vanish, uh, that'd be fun to know, but that's gone. He's a member of Grand Gaming now, and I'm a member of this. So have a look down in the uh, description. That's interesting, isn't it? Or some information about uh, my Discord. I'm just going to sell that. I would really like to be able to use that, but I'm going to say no. Uh, Oh, that was nice. Well done, me. Good job. Uh, yeah, the Discord link in the description below. Go, uh, come along and hang out if you want to, and if you don't want to. I quite understand, honestly. Because uh, it's just more of this. <laughs> Except in text. So, yeah, welcome to everybody. Thank you for joining me, and uh, I hope you'll stay a long time and have good times. Uh, let's just randomise these skills and see if there's anything of any good. So it's a Sunday. Jen's at work, which is why I'm recording this. Normally I record on a Sunday. Well, normally I record when Jen's at work. When that coincides with a Sunday, that's ideal. Uh, because life is hard. Um, reason being that I feel this sort of weird obligation to actually stick around not being unavailable when Jen is uh, actually at home. I don't know if that is necessarily something that I need to worry about, but it is something I worry about because I worry about everything because that is my life. Um, that, is, that is me, and honestly, first of all, are you telling me there are not three more enemies? I do not believe you. Secondly, I'll continue with what I was saying. And I've determined that that's it. There were not enough enemies in this stupid level. So, damn it and blast it. Is there a bit? No, there is another bit. No, there isn't another bit. <sighs> Grind teeth. Nash, nash, nash. It's fine. Uh, we'll just... um, if we could go for more than a couple of months without some reason to panic about something, I would probably start to relax. You know, we're slowly getting there. There's a lot. There's a lot to do. Uh, in our situation, so we'll just get through it as well as we can. Oh, I forgot that we had cool stuff to play with. It's a critical hit when you have less than 50% health or more than 50% malaise. Light speed. Well, this is a power, and we don't have second power. We should use that. Sure. I'm not sure if I'm tempted by this sword or not, and the reason is it's red and purple and I don't think I'm going to play those builds today so I'm just going to do this this I mean this new thing is the same but we will probably replace it at some point quite quickly sure and um oh, rubbish. Uh, in the meantime we can practice it we can learn about how it works without really worrying too much about um using it to its best because we don't have the build necessary to use it properly. So I will take... I think I'll take the... counter-attack. I'm going to be doing a lot of parrying because I actually have this, um, this shield and I intend to use it, to be honest with you. So it's Sunday and... Yeah, how are you? I'm Actually, until, recent, <laughs> until very recently, and by which I mean in, in the sense of hours, uh, I, I've been doing pretty well. Uh, I, I am feeling fine because it's been a very, very productive weekend. Which is 
it's uncommon for, for me specifically, and honestly for people in general, I can't help but notice. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh, I need to learn this light speed thing, but I'm worried about taking damage as a result. Uh, let's have a look at what it does. Let's discuss that before we discuss our weekends. Dash forward and inflict 135 damage to the enemies on the way. Activate again to dash back. I'm going to guess it does not count as a... Ooh, that was nice. I guess it doesn't count as um, a, a dodge, and therefore doesn't activate the rapier, which is uh, still a word I'm very uncomfortable saying, <laughs> even though it's a very old word. I actually quite like being there. I see, and then it has a cooldown, so if you don't dash back, it, it activates its cooldown. There we go. <laughs> Please. Ah, oh, press, press. Right, you have way less of a um, way less of uh, 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 an opportunity, way less um, exclamation mark time, I guess you might say, when that thing is going to do its uh, tail attack than you do when it's going to do its shooty attack, which is very annoying because I kind of assume that everything's the same all the time. This is going to be great when enemies are lined up, but right now... It's kind of like the War Spear. I think it's the War Spear that does lots of damage to lots of things in a row. Uh, whereas... Well, that might be the one that does damage to things uh, against a wall. But you get the idea. There's just lots of mechanics in this game, and they're not all the same. Wow! Noise. Uh, it's Friday. No, it's Sunday. And I've been off since Friday. So it's been an excruciatingly productive weekend. And I was telling you about... Uh, I was alluding to certain things that need doing. And we have started doing such things. Which is what Friday was for. Um, there's a lot of stuff to mess up or mess about with. What are you doing? What's this? this? Uh, a lot of stuff to deal with in real life. It's very hard, adulting. I tried to press this... I literally could not tell you what just happened. <laughs> I tried to shield. Well, the first thing was I, again, misunderestimated how short a time you have being warned about the uh, tail attack by that thing. I just put a piece of cookie in my mouth while recording. Nom, nom, nom. Let's try this again. Nope. Sure. Sure. It's going to be interesting. Shield and bow is a bit of a... Uh, of an obscure combination. It doesn't really give us any identity to the run. It's neither melee nor it's ranged. You know, we haven't really settled on anything, apart from the fact we settled on a fire grenade, which is nice to know. It's... I guess if things get too close to us, we can always uh, do that. I feel like they might have um, nerfed the the birdie thingies, because it seems like I can reasonably often kill them without worrying about their uh, worrying about all of their, their attacks. The entire volley doesn't seem to get me anymore, whereas previously it did. I don't know if that means I'm better at shielding, but I seem to remember shielding at the point where the exclamation mark told me to do so, and that wasn't good enough. No sirree. Uh, it's, it's kind of frustrating that our only source of damage right now is a weapon that takes time to actually deal with. And on top of that, is ranged. And on top of that, in order to use it properly, you have to spend some time waiting for it to be ready. Uh, yeah, And then it gives us a melee weapon, which is actually worse for my playstyle, which is to get hit all the time. So uh, we'll move on. So we've been took a day off on Friday because, first of all, you, you actually just need days off sometimes and let yourself have them, my dudes. Don't 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 be a hero, right? Have time off. World's getting you down, then make it get you back up again by having time off. Look, it works. Okay, don't don't question my metaphors. Secondly, I had a lot of things to do. Now, normally I would take Wednesdays working from home, but that wasn't an option this week. We cancelled our normal Wednesdays appointments, and often I will simply uh, leave. 
<laughs> Let's get the time door rather than the uh, fight door. I know we've gone to the prisoners the other way. I oh, know we've gone to the sewers. Never mind. It would be great to kill 30 enemies in two minutes. Don't know if that's an option, <laughs> so I'm going to assume that it's not going to happen. Uh, more... The Rampart is not as good as the Bloodthirsty Shield, in my opinion. This could be good, but I don't like getting hit. And this, we generally think of as good, but it is not green. And I'm thinking this might be a green build. However, at this early stage of the game, maybe it's prudent to allow some diversity. So we don't make that decision too early uh, and force ourselves down a run that just doesn't work with the items that we get. We could also get this sword, but again, we're going to fill this up. Get ready for a new shield. So I've been off since... Oh, I've been at home since Friday. But it's, it's really strange to be this <laughs> productive uh, as a human being. I'm not used to this concept, you know. Uh, give, me, give me my... I didn't really like counter-attack, actually. Give me my cooldowns. And, and give me my... 30. I don't need... Um... It, it's... You know, I've been here since Friday, and... We did do stuff on Friday. We got a lot of very domestic-y, necessary stuff done. Uh, excuse me? Go away. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm I'm still not very good at just not concentrating on this game. It turns out. Whenever you pick up a run that is even slightly out of your comfort zone, it, it, suddenly you have to really watch what you're doing. And oh, you bastard! Pardon my English. Never really understood why uh, swearing is French unless you're taking a very long-term view of, uh, oh, for God's sake, <laughs> of our cultures and, and still consider the French language to be nothing but crass uh, rudeness spoken by Luddites and morons, which I guess you're welcome to, but I think it's probably a little bit, a bit backwards, a bit outdated. I nearly got myself in the poison once again just by jumping around normally. I will complain once or twice about the, the about this game. Don't worry. Uh, you won't miss that. It's, it seems strange to be this productive. Uh, and until <laughs> just a couple of hours ago, I have been extremely productive and also feeling pretty good about the productivity that I have been achieving, quite honestly. You know, it, 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 there's a doldrums that you get into as a, an adult, or you can do. It's called depression. Don't know if you've heard of it. Look it up, sweetheart. Um, but it, it is literally just... You can spend a long, long time in your life just not doing anything and finding that all chores and all, uh, all necessities of life are just too much to handle. Um, including, you know, going to the doctor and signing up at a doctor that is near you, <laughs> near where you actually live, you know? So, not to say that happened, but that's literally what happened. So we finally got that sorted out, uh, and then, oh, what else are we doing on Friday? I mean, Jen keeps going to work, which is very frustrating. It's, it's brilliant, because money comes in, but at the same time, I can't remember anything <laughs> about what is happening anywhere in our lives, because it's, it's inconsistent work, it's, it's the trouble here. Uh, we, I mean, again, it's fine. We uh, we knew that, and I think there's a certain prudence to accepting in your life that you're going to have to spend possibly sometimes entire years in which you basically do not have control, <laughs> which yeah can happen, but it can be very lucrative to do that. So I wouldn't don't shy away. Would be my advice from something that you're not sure of. He says with a rising inflection because he's not sure whether you'll understand him. Uh, there, there are many opportunities for things to be ill-defined, and uh, honestly, it's it's much easier to be flexible. I don't. Say, I'm not trying to say it's easy to be flexible, but it's much preferable to be flexible where you can. Uh, 
Much as I love the Nerves of Steel, I'm going to replace it with an actual melee weapon. Uh, rather than avoid anything that has uh, no assurances in it because you are yourself inflexible. Which is a big thing to say, not everybody is neurotypical or perfectly capable of dealing with inflexibility, but if you can learn to deal with it, and you can, trust me, I, I have every confidence in you. Let's uh, learn to allow plans to be um, n not set in stone, you know? Uh, allow your future to be wide open. Or at the very least, just unsure of. You'll find yourself in, in a better position. And plus, there's a lot to be said. I, I, I really like that owl. <laughs> there's a lot to be said for um, the, the freedom that you get and sort of the opportunity. It's like the opposite of freedom to some extent. In that because you are being forced into, you know, dealing with these situations. I parried that. Thank you very much. Critical hits 10 seconds after setting the enemy on fire. That's interesting. Um, because you have to be flexible yourself, then you find yourself available at different times with different opportunities. I, having a 9-to-5 job or whatever-to-whatever whatever job, if you're at work every single day, during the day... I think I've been through this before, actually, but if you're actually working whilst everybody else is working, then you don't get the opportunity to do the things that you can do when you're available during the day. Like go to the bank or just go shopping. You know, you have to try and cram everything into those couple of hours at the end of the day. Uh, when you are out of work or you have left work. Uh, I want to say out of work because that has connotations of not having any work left anymore. I think I'm getting crits from setting any enemy on fire. Or all the other enemies. Ooh, that was a good dodge. Well done, me. Or do I have to set the enemy on fire, then hit it with my sword, then reap the benefits of having done so? I don't know. It was unclear. Instructions unclear. Universe restarted. So yeah, there's... Because you learn to be flexible, there's great benefit to that in the first place. However... I am refusing to be flexible. I am drinking my hot chocolate. Mm. See, now you're testing me, aren't you? I don't think it's quite good enough. But it's close. Now that I've got the hang of shields a little bit more, I... Mm. Come on. Gotta do better than that. Hello. What can you give me? Nothing. <laughs> Could go a survival build, but we don't have enough survival equipment. As in, we have none. I will open you. For reasons unbeknownst to the viewers. Ah! That's a good reason. Forgive me for eating this cookie, but I've been waiting to eat it for a long, long time. I am going with survival. Actually, that is pay for itself, because this is a colourless item. I appreciate the way they've uh, redesigned the colourless items as well. Hello. <laughs> I tried to block that, and it never arrived. Don't take damage here. Know thyself. <laughs> I will take damage there. I don't remind myself not to. What's happening here? I'm not going in there. I will die. Give me enemies to kill. Oh. Oh. Nice. Thank you, Owl. Why I rolled through him? This is stressing me out, my friends. Not helping is the fact that until, as mentioned, an hour ago, well, more than an hour now, I was doing fine. You know, I, I, I have been an adult for a long, long time. It's 25 minutes. I'll tell you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me. I hope that you're enjoying my complete failure to do a, a simple task, which is play this game. 
<laughs> it's not been that long since I last played it and made it all the way to the hand of the king and failed anyway. Um, I, I like this setup, so we'll go with this. Uh, in between, I'm going to see one last time if there's a way of me sorting this out, but I think I might have to just beat the hand of the king again. But yeah, thank you for watching. Until next time, hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you'll join me in the next one, and until then, I will 